Hello viewers, welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Basir, and this week we'll be talking about kickers, the different, op the different options we have, how we can place it, etc. You can access the kickers tool by simply going to the panel properties. Under the miscellaneous tab, simply scroll down, and we have the kickers options. Once we edit, we're going to go ahead and add a kicker set. We have multiple sets within the same panels. This will come in handy when we'll want to place kickers at specific locations throughout the panel, not a constant spacing, which you'll see in just a second. We can name these sets whatever we want. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at kicker set one. Now, before we modify the placement and the actual kickers options, such as the family and you know the rotation of it, etc., we're going to go ahead and select its dimensions, essentially telling it what what size we want the kicker to be. Now we could tell what size it is through different options. For example, first one will be simply by giving it an elevation angle and an elevation offset, which is from where it gets placed to the top of the kicker, essentially giving it a length. Go ahead and do it by elevation angle and the height, which is the height of the kicker from the bottom of the panel and not where it gets placed. We're going to go ahead and select this elevation offset and lateral offset, essentially giving it x and y coordinates, four feet each. That will determine the size of my kicker. Now, now we can go ahead and onto the placement aspect of it and where we want to place it within the panel with constant spacing, etc. Firstly, simply the bottom attachment. We want to attach it to the bottom or the top of our panel. Next would be the bottom offset. Essentially. If we go ahead and leave this at zero, it is going to attach it all the way to the top of my panel. Now you'll notice that since we said top attachment, it's going to attach to the top. Now we might want to drop it by a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and say we want to drop it by one feet. So it's a negative value since we're going downwards. If we would have said top, bottom panel, we'd go ahead and add a positive value for, you know, the reference is bottom to top. Go ahead and put that back to top. Next, the first kicker offset, simply from the start of your panel where you want your first kicker offset to be, we want it to be at two feet from our, the start of our panel. And then we want to place another kicker at every four feet. That's what the kicker spacing is for. By having this box checked, it's going to restart the kicker wherever, if we have a pinned element, such as a pin stud, it is going to restart the kicker spacing at that uh, element. We're going to go ahead and also give it a maximum and minimum allowed angle. Essentially saying since we've chosen this x and y coordinates of 4 feet each, we know that the angle is going to be 45 degrees. But we can further narrow it down. These, these values could just be an approximation. We, don't, we might not want it to exactly 4 feet and 4 feet. We simply are able to control that based off the angles I give. So if I change this angle, maximum angle allowed at 40 degrees, it's not going to, the elevation offset is not exactly going to be four feet. It's going to be a little bit less, maybe three foot eight, just so that angle is less than 40 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to 45. We're able to mess with that as we start going along. Next. Laterally, where it gets attached to your stud is going to be right there in the center. So each kicker is going to get attached to the center of your stud. Now we might want to shift that a little bit by a couple inches. Since we're dealing with six inch panels, we can go negative or positive three inches. We're going to go ahead and leave it at the center. That's how we want it. If we got a pinned kicker somewhere in that panel that already exists, we might want to leave a tolerance around that thing that we don't want any kickers around that pinned kicker. So we're going to go ahead and leave a two foot tolerance right over here. Next, what placement method we want to place. So we said that we wanted a kicker, at the first one at two feet, and then one at every four feet. Now, what if at two feet, for example, our first stud I know is at one foot four, 16 inches. At two feet, I know I don't have a stud. The kicker is going to be there in thin air. Now, if we say we want to place it by offset, which means which means at two feet, it's going to place a kicker. It's going to then insert a stud as well just to fill in and attach that kicker to some place. If we say we want to place it by close stud, it's going to shift that two feet to maybe one foot four, 
shifted to the closest stud, so it's not exact values, but it's the approximate uh, length spacing that it's going to use. The placement side, we want the kickers on the interior side, exterior side, staggered, so one interior, one exterior, or both sides. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at staggered. And the skew angle, we want to give the kickers, we're able to do so, and where we want to attach the kickers to the website, the open face, or the center of the stud, which would then clash with this. the stud and kickers would then clash. Last but not least, we're going to go ahead into the kicker tab, actually defining what the kicker is, so what the family is, for example. We're simply going to select the family. Again, these are all the structural framing family I've loaded within this project. So if you want to see a particular kicker member, you just have to load that family in, and it will be available from this list. You're, you're going to go ahead and give it a, if you want to flip the kicker, essentially giving it a 180 degree rotation. You're able to do that by just checking this box. If you want to rotate it by any other value other than 180, you're able to rotate it by giving an axial rotation of 90 degrees, for example, or whatever. Next, we're, we're, we could go ahead and give it a bottom and top uh, cutback offset. Essentially, if you want to cut it back by a little bit shorter than what that uh, actual length dimensions are, we're able to give that by simply inputting a value over here where we want to attach to the origin the horizontal justification, do you want a side one, which is side two, which would be web face, side one, open face, or the center. We're going to go ahead and say side two. And then same thing for the vertical justification. We want to leave that center since we wanted to attach, we want the center of our stud to be uh, at that dimension that we place. Once we're ready with the kicker we have, we can simply hit close, and it's going to place our kickers. Now, what happens if we want to place kickers at a specific location? For example, let's say I want to place my kicker at 5 foot 8. And then I want to place my next one at 7 foot 9, for example. Now, I'm able to do that no problem. I can simply say I want my first kicker to be set at 5 foot 8. But, and then the next one is going to be set at nine, 7 foot 9, which is 2 foot 1 inches away from it. So if I say that and change my kicker space to two foot one inch, it is going to place one at five foot eight and seven foot nine. But then the next one is going to be placed at uh, nine foot ten because it's, the kicker spacing gets repeated at every two foot one. I'm going to have a kicker. We might not want that. We just might want one at five foot eight and seven foot nine. So the way we can do that is simply put my first kicker offset. So my first kicker from the start of my panel is going to be at five foot eight. And then simply put my kicker space into something like 30 feet, which is beyond my panel, since my panel is around 20 feet in length. It's going to place one at 5 foot 8, and the next one's going to be at 30 feet, which will simply not get created. And then we can go ahead and simply create another kicker set and make that one at 7 foot 9, and same thing, change the kicker spacing to uh, something like 30 feet. So that's how we would place it at specific locations if we want it, or just a single kicker if we want it. We simply hit OK, hit close, hit OK. It is going to place my kickers within this panel based off the settings that I gave it. Just like that. Now you'll notice that it placed one, it had, I had it staggered, and it obviously just moved my uh, kickers to the, attach, to the desired attachment position. Essentially, shifting it so it attaches to the closest stud and not uh, in the specific location. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Tech Tips. See you guys next time.